Hi there, and God bless you just as we are moving into the weekend. I uh, have a couple of things I want to share with you. And um, you'll probably find them very, very helpful and um, encouraging. Um, I want to link it to the one of the great mighty miracles where um, Lazarus was resurrected. And um, the Lord, the Lord shouts with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth, praise God. And Lazarus comes out. But remember that when Lazarus walked out, and absolutely superb miracle, fantastic. And um, Lazarus comes out and he's still wrapped in grave clothes. So there were still some things to be done. And um, there was still something that the Lord didn't do. Of course, the Lord did the greatest miracle. The Lord resurrected Lazarus from the dead, who'd been dead four days and stinking. So I'm reminding you, if you're believing something to be brought back to life, whatever that may be in your life, and if you might be thinking, well, it's been it's been dead four days and stinking. Jesus Christ said, I am the life and the resurrection. And he can resurrect everything. So don't give up. Don't give up. I'm here praying for you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Now, what the Lord didn't do at the time when... He came out and thank you so much because these thumbs ups and these hearts and these loves, they are important, vitally important. And I thank you so much because this is what breaks it through to the rest of the people that need to hear this message. Because Jesus Christ, very foundation, important message with the kingdom of God is that there is going to be a resurrection on the last day. Um. So there's a couple of things I need to address. So the one thing is that, La that what the Lord didn't do is when Lazarus came out, he didn't have those grave clothes removed from Lazarus. Um, no, that was the job of the church, the people, and Lazarus himself. Um, and sometimes one comes out or comes through a a deliverance or through a healing or through a situation or through a breakthrough praise God and and that there's a process of taking those grave clothes off and leave the dead things behind and move on behold old things have passed behold all things are new praise the Lord so as you know me I'm here to encourage you and also to build you up in the faith praise God now, one other thing that is very important, and there's been some 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 misconceptions about what um, uh, about the resurrection, of course, but also about the dead, the dead in Christ. Um, what does that mean? Okay, people that believe uh, in the Lord Jesus Christ, and not just believe, but also. Um, embrace the finished work of the cross and repent of their sins, turn away from sins and turn to following Jesus Christ to live a life pleasing unto God, um, have a regeneration, a, a born again experience and uh, or a regenerated spirit. Um, if, 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 if a person like that passes on or dies, the Bible makes it very clear that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So just give that a minute because there are a lot of people that think that when a person dies, he goes to sleep in the grave and would have to <laughs> be asleep for... Well, for however long it takes for the Lord Jesus to come at the second coming and then do the resurrection. But 
The body is asleep, as this is the language of the word, and the, the body is indeed asleep, but the body is not the soul. Remember that. So the body is not the soul. So the, if the body being asleep, fine. Um, and as you know, the body deteriorates and the bones are the only thing that, has, that doesn't deteriorate. But therefore the soul, to be absent, the soul is absent from the body, is not with the body, is absent, not with, absent from the body, is to be present with the Lord. I'm encouraging somebody already. Praise the Lord. So that is a, um, a key thing to understand that, and, and, and I can cross-reference it with um, this, um, 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 with, with this, with this, with the, with the event of the actual cross where the Lord Jesus Christ is crucified and, and the Lord Jesus Christ is crucified in the midst of two more people, one on the left and one on the right. And I'm not preaching that right now, but I do remind you of what the Lord said to the one that recognized that the Lord Jesus Christ has done nothing wrong. He said, we deceive this. We, 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 we deserve this punishment, although be it, uh, they were, um, the Bible says they were thieves and death by crucifixion is a, is a tremendous uh, judgment. So a very harsh judgment. Nevertheless, the thieves said to the other one, we deserve this punishment, but he doesn't. Jesus, the Lord has done nothing wrong. He don't deserve to be here. And then he said to Jesus, Lord, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Because he had heard Jesus teach the kingdom. Jesus was always, the Lord Jesus was always teaching the kingdom of heaven, which is the everlasting kingdom, which is nothing like this world or this earth. And this earth has some very, I mean, the Lord made it beautiful. But the kingdom is another place. It is the kingdom of heaven. Some people call it heaven. Jesus specifically called it the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is everlasting. Jesus is the king of kings. Hallelujah. Yeah, Jesus is the king of the kingdom. And he is the Lord God Almighty. So Jesus teaching the kingdom. And the thief said, Lord... Remember me in your kingdom. And after he had already said that the Lord shouldn't be punished, but he should. And Jesus replied to him and said, today, the other one didn't want nothing to do with it. But to the one thief, he said, today, you will be with me in paradise. Not, not at the last day of the resurrection. His body would go and be buried or put in a tomb. And the body would have to wait to be resurrected, the bodily resurrection of the last day. But his soul, because the real you and the real me is our soul. We have this body, uh, Apostle Paul referred to as a tent, a tabernacle. A tabernacle that we need to dwell on earth. But as soon as we, 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 we go to the kingdom, praise the Lord, the kingdom of heaven, the eternal everlasting kingdom. And I want to encourage also everybody that has lost loved ones and dear ones. And, and um, I want you to understand that, 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 that we are souls in a body. And the eternal part of us is the soul. The soul will never cease to exist. That's why it's so important to be saved. Saved of what? Well, saved of the wrath of God because Jesus Christ, our Lord, took the wrath of God already upon himself. That's why we are so grateful for what the Lord Jesus did. He took the death penalty of sin upon himself so that we don't have to be judged. He took our place. Now, Today, he said, he'll be my apprentice. So to that same day, the soul, the real person, would be with the Lord Jesus in paradise. And remember that at that time, the Lord's own body hadn't been resurrected. But they know that on the, the Lord knows everything in advance, of course, he's God. So on the ninth hour, uh, 
you know, it's recorded that 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 death stroke, the ninth hour of the day. Yeah, they started counting when it was uh, uh, light, when it became light in the day, and um, the ninth hour. But yet that same day, I mean that that very moment. The Lord said, today you'll be me in paradise. But I'm trying to say to you is that what 2 Corinthians says, I think it's 5.2, to be absent of the body is to be present with the Lord. There are many, many, many souls in heaven, praise God. Now, Apostle John went in the book of Revelation. He was taken up to the third heaven, the third floor of heaven, the third heaven. And him... And thank you so much for your comments and your likes and your thumbs up. Keep doing it because it will help drive this video to the many people that need to see it. So I appreciate you all for watching. I really do. And I'm praying for you. When Apostle John was taken up to see when he was in the, in the Isle of Patmos and he afterwards, after all these revelations that John was given, and they, they were difficult. Um, I mean, it was so much that, 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 that the Lord showed John. Um, and he said, um, I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. You know, that was the, the, he saw the souls of people that were persecuted and killed and martyred for their faith in Jesus Christ and their steadfast, steadfast faith in the, that, that unwavering, unwavering faith that they would, they would rather be, um, put to death, then deny the Lord Jesus Christ. They would never deny the Lord Jesus Christ. They were martyred. John, Apostle John, we're not, we're not teaching that specifically subject, but we're talking about the souls being in heaven. He said, I saw the souls of them being in heaven. Not their bodies. Because the, the resurrection on the last day is, and it is the last day, it is several times in the word of God, even in that whole account where Martha and Mary are coming to the Lord because Lazarus had died. And, 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 and Martha again emphasizes, yes, I know there will be a resurrection on the last day. And then Jesus answered, said, no, I am. the." He said, yes, yes, there will be a resurrection on the last day, but I am the resurrection. And Jesus was to be the first to be resurrected. And when Jesus in his resurrected body um, had come out of the tomb, that was a different body. That was a body empowered by the spirit that was different than a, a body of flesh. And it's still a body of flesh, but it did not powered by the blood. And that was where he was able to walk basically through walls. I mean, he was just um, walking in a supernatural body. That's the resurrected body. That's the body that we get at the very last day of the resurrection. But our souls is the real us. Our souls are eternal. Our souls are also where our mind and our emotions and our, our being. We are souls. We are living souls. When the Lord breathed, breathed life into Adam, and he breathed into his nostrils and, he, and, he, and, and, and Adam became a living soul. There was a body. There was just a body. Like Paul said, it's a tabernacle to dwell here on earth. And it's, not, it's important to look after the tabernacle, your body. And, um, but but it, it's, it, it's nothing without a soul. So even when Adam was created, God had to breathe life into him. And God breathed, the Father breathed life into, let us, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, breathe life into Adam. And Adam became a living soul. Praise the Lord. So I, I really, really, really hope I'm encouraging somebody. And I, I want you to continue on liking it, loving it, and sharing it, and commenting on it as you do. And I thank you all for coming from around the world, Australia, America, United Kingdom, Canada. Africa, Pakistan, the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, with, with its many Christian believers. And we had to continue to pray for the persecution um, as well. And we do that, especially as, um, as we have, uh, as we're about to enter uh, the Sabbath, the seventh day, 
the day that God rests, and we ought to remember, we ought to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. And um, I just, I just um, pray that you really understand that, that that this that when the body when when the word describes the body being asleep, that it is that it really is just the body. That's not the person. That's not the soul. That's not the identity. The soul. The real person. No, the person goes straight to be the, with the Lord, and it's immediate. I mean, it takes seconds from wherever the person passes away to get to heaven, to the kingdom of heaven, to be with the Lord today. Hallelujah! Remember. So, um, it's it's important to understand that there is a, some people that teach that you know the person would be sleeping for you know, hundreds and, 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 and could be thousands of years and, uh, but, and it has to just wait and wait and wait. And no, 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 no. It's, that's just the body. That's just the tabernacle. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So all of your loved ones that believed on the Lord, they're in this wonderful kingdom of heaven. And that is where we are all meant to end up and that's where the Lord will take us all on the last day. So we, we, we're just so grateful for what the Lord did. We, we must remind ourselves every day that it, it, it is all because of Jesus Christ. No matter what goes on in this world. Yes, it is a fallen world. It is a fallen world. And that's why in a fallen world, I, I tell you all the time, unfortunately in a fallen world, sometimes bad things happen to good people. Hence, Jesus taught the kingdom, the everlasting kingdom. This is uh, just but a page. This life here on earth is but a page of the millions and unlimited of pages. If you do it in a book allegory, of, it's, it's just a fraction compared to eternity. So... Um, I want you to all have a really blessed, wonderful weekend. And um, of course, I'll be doing another message. I'll be doing another service. And, um, and uh, yes, uh, the, the other thing I want to do is a series of, uh, uh, a series, a series of, of, of deliverance topics and deliverance services, real services, life, um, where I will address different, different, topics as the holy spirit leads as the lord as i will go into prayer every time i'll have a specific topic specific things that need to be addressed for uh for deliverance so it's a it's a wonderful thing that the lord has laid on my heart and i just wanted to participate in that so i'll make sure that you know about that um and there'll be that there'll be lots of other things and for those of you that can't make it to a uh, to a service because of where you are geographically located. Uh, this is a wor worldwide um, a fellowship. So you're welcome to fellowship with us worldwide here um, as we do our own fellowship um, worship services and uh, thanking the God, thanking the Lord for all of his goodness. And um, yeah, praise the Lord. I got so much more to share and I want to do that over the next, you know, several days and weeks ahead. And um I pray for you and I pray that this message blesses you and that you continue to tune in and watch this as it is a pleasure to have this fellowship with you guys here. And so the Lord bless you. Know that I love you. Know that the Lord loves you and know that I'm praying for you. And feel free to, I know you don't want to send your prayer requests here on, um, on the comment section. So you can do that. Um, there is a little, um, also you, you can, you can activate the notification. So whenever I come on or have been on live and then you can watch it back. So please remember that, give it a thumbs up, give it a, a hard like, give it a, uh, a share because that is the only way other people get to see it. That's just how it works. It's not because I'm just crazy about having all these thumbs up. No, but I do want everybody else to see it. And it is if there's no activity, then there is no drive by the Facebook machines 
these big computer systems, there needs to be action. Yes, just like us, body of Christ, the, the book of Acts would not have been written if the people didn't act. We got to act. We activate our faith. We activate our authority. We stand in it. We walk in it. And so is the same with a lot of things. There has to be action. So please make be active with this and just do it like it. And if you have a prayer request, there is a, a paper clip um, on the screen, bottom left. And that gets you to the website. And then you can just... Um, you can support the ministry if you like, but you can also click prayer requests and then you type in your prayer request, fully confidential, and we'll be praying for you. And um, miracles are happening. God answers prayer. For the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever and ever and ever. Surely we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. All right. Blessing again as always. Love y'all. Bye y'all. See you tomorrow.